Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be doing an in-game look at the Callus Conqueror's armor set. So, so far we've seen pictures, we've seen the preview screen from the collections tab, but we have not seen what this armor set actually looks like on your character, what it will look like when it releases with patch 5.9.2. And so I'm here on Korriban on the public test server. Now Korriban, it's a really nice sunny planet and it goes really well with the whole Sith theme and I just wanted to see what this actually looks like on your character as you're walking around and doing all that good stuff. So here is the armor set. Now the reason I'm so excited about this armor set is because it is the first Platinum Rarity armor set to be released. It's of course going to be extremely expensive on the cartel market. That's unfortunate. It's going to be probably running upwards of 100 million credits on the GTN. But it is at least a well-designed armor set. So Bioware did, do, or the Cartel Market team, did do a phenomenal job in designing this. As I'm showing it on screen here, everything goes so well together. It's such a well-designed, menacing, ominous-looking armor set. Um, and every part of the armor set's great. I mean, the helmet is my favorite. It's got this really cool, fiery inferno effect that runs up the entire mask. And that also is kind of consistent across the entire armor set. It goes up the upper body armor as well. Every other part of the armor set, the gloves, the boots, it's all well designed. They're all kind of like standalone items, you know. You could mix and match them with other armor sets already in the game. And just enhance your look completely. The only real downside of this armor set is just how expensive it's going to be, both in terms of credits and cartel coins and real money and stuff. But... On the other hand, at least Bioware did do a good job with it and hopefully they'll, you know, harness some of that energy and make some really good armor sets and weapons and stuff going into the future as well. But props to Bioware, they did a good job on this uh, and hopefully you guys can now get a better sense of what this armor set actually looks like and decide for yourselves how far you're willing to go to actually get this thing. Uh, on the other hand, I'm also going to show you guys the flare. This is the new flare of the Dark Lord. Um, it looks a little bit different than it did in the image. I'm not going to say it looks bad. I mean, I'm telling you, I'd probably use this thing if only that color was red. But the whole purple thing, I just don't dig that. I mean, I don't want to have a purple flare for whatever reason. I just don't like that color too much. Red would have been so much better. You know, purple seems to be a theme that goes really well with Sith Inquisitors. Red seems to be a theme that just goes with the Empire and with Sith in general. Like, it goes really well with that. Talking about purple colors, let's take a look at the decorations from the Sith Lord Artifacts Bundle. So on screen here, you can see that I've compiled a ton or at least as many decorations from that bundle as I could. And they do look a lot different, guys. They look a lot different in-game than what they do on the images. I've got to say they're a lot nicer. We'll go through each of them rather quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on it. The point is more just to show what they actually look like in-game. And we'll start here with, this is the weapons rack. Really cool. That's the only thing that's red colored. As I was saying earlier, red goes a lot better. It's a really cool looking sword as well. This is the uh, Dark Council pillar. So it's got like these, um, those, those slaves with their uh, collars on. And once again, it's got that, it's got like this purple, blue, rainbowy color. That's what I really don't dig. I don't like that at all. This one is down, is hands down the nicest. This is the Pillar of the Desolate Sith. Now look at how awesome that thing looks. It's got like, once again, that slave totem, but with like fire raining down. Beautiful. Great decoration. This one's also really cool. It's the Throne of the Sith Emperor. Now it's got the purple color, but it's also got this really cool lightning effect on it. It seems to be something that was just made for Sith Inquisitors. Here we've got the amulet display case. Uh, so that's the amulet there in the center in this kind of cool prism looking thing. Uh, this one is the Ancient Sith Scroll. Uh, can't read anything on that thing, but it does look really cool. I've got to say, I don't know why, I just find that to look so nice. Um, We've got the Sith Temple chair there, and then that's the, uh, I think that's like the, the ashes or something. I forget what this is. Sacrificial brazier. I think that's what that's called. Yeah. Anyway, going to the back here, we've got um, the Holocron cabinet. So this one is the Holocron cabinet. It's got a cool little book with, on a shelf there, and then it's got the uh, Holocron at the top. And then we've got, um, this one is the Sith Lord Remains. That one is the Sith Lord Remains. As you guys can see, the whole theme here is really heavy on um, visual effects. A lot of purple color, a lot of smoke hazy stuff, a lot of um, lightning and stuff like that. It is actually really cool. Uh, my only improvement would have been make it a little bit more of a, of a red color. The purple, I'm just not digging it. But anyways, the point is really nice, well-designed decorations. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the, um, and the in-game look at this stuff. And hope you guys are excited for the new patch coming on July 30th. I'll see you guys in the next one.